Hey everyone, now there's a lot we could be talking about with Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity because we have the big Tokyo Game Show presentation today. There's going to be even more gameplay showing off tomorrow. Uh, we got a story trailer, we got 13 minutes of gameplay, uh, but we're going to be showing off a lot of that story trailer and that gameplay here in this video throughout it, so please enjoy watching it. Uh, I'll give more thoughts on Age of Calamity in terms of the story and all that, maybe on a live stream or something tomorrow night. But today, what I want to talk about is the sales of this game. Also, before I get into this video, I need to remind you about our two big giveaways we have going on. One is for a Switch Lite, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. Uh, to win that, you can like the video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, information down in the description. The same thing for two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, we, that's a separate giveaway we have going on. So good luck to all you guys out there, and let's get into the video. So despite this being a Japanese event, despite it being something that wasn't heavily advertised in the United States to U.S. gamers, Age of Calamity has just skyrocketed up the Amazon Best Sellers list for video games. So typically, the top of the Amazon Best Sellers list includes, you know, mostly like eShop cards, you know, Xbox cards, PlayStation Store cards, eShop cards, because those are a really popular thing to buy online because, you know, they're digital codes, you know, quick and easy. You can exchange them between friends, buy them for yourself. Um, sometimes you get discounts on them. Some people get discounts through Amazon. So it's just a, a really... Uh, cheap and easy way to get your hands on um, some digital currency for these systems. So those are always at the top of the charts. But when you actually look at the actual sales, you'll see the Super Mario 3D All-Stars is the best-selling video game right now. And by the way, kudos to you, Nintendo. You have done an excellent job restocking this game at all major retailers, at least here in the U.S. But the next game is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It jumped. It, it literally wasn't even in the top 50. I want, I want to make this understood, guys. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity was not in the top 50 before this. Now, when it was initially announced, it, it jumped up in the top 50, but then it fell out. Now that we had this Tokyo Game Show sh presentation, it is back up in the top 50. In fact, it is at the number 8 spot, or as you can say, the number 2 best-selling video game on all of Amazon. Now... It's interesting because it's actually right behind the Nintendo Switch, which is now back in stock, by the way. The OG Switch is back in, st back in stock, the Redbox version. And then the Xbox Series X, which is sold out. So the Xbox Series X is likely going to fall off a bit because, you know, they're not going to be able to take more pre-orders on that for a while. But uh, this is just really, really good news for the Hyrule Warriors game because Hyrule Warriors games do not sell like this. They do not sell like this. They do not, they do not hit top selling charts ever period not even Hyrule Warriors back in the day was doing this on Wii U or on 3DS right so not even Hyrule Warriors was doing this let alone Warriors games in general this is massive news uh, I don't know you know if, it, if it's gonna compete in the annals of Mario 3D All-Stars or uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons this year or even Paper Mario I have no idea if this game can compete at that level for sales but I also don't know how it's selling at other retailers right now either. It's entirely possible that it is selling this crazy at all of the online retailers, not just Amazon. And who knows? It's Nintendo's holiday game. This is the game that will be advertised with Switches during Black Friday. How do we know this game won't sell out in person at retailers? After all, it's very, very heavily advertising itself as a prequel to Breath of the Wild. And... My God, obviously, you could just look at the gameplay, look at the trailer. Does it not look utterly amazing? I mean, today we got to hear the voice actors confirming that all of the original voice actors are back for this. That's what's happened. Like, this is real. This is a legit part of the Zelda timeline, this game. It is insane. And, like, we got to see, you know, things like the, the little guardian, the little baby guardian in action. Um, you know, and maybe the guardian might even be responsible for the towers rising, supposedly. Uh, you know, we, we got to see Impa in action and, and gameplay from Impa. And it's just, this game, guys, is looking so good. Like, I played Hyrule Warriors. I played the hell out of Hyrule Warriors. Like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. But, man, something about this game looks even more polished. Something about this game looks even more in tune with what it's trying to do. And maybe that's because the story itself, the art 
in the game. All of that was done by Nintendo. Nintendo did the art for this game, so it would look and feel like Breath of the Wild. Nintendo also did the story. So they wrote the story, they had the voice actors back, probably did all the cutscenes, because this is canon. This is part of the Zelda timeline. Nintendo was going to make this done right. And maybe it's just because of Nintendo's extra touches that Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity just feels and looks so much better than the original Hyrule Warriors. Which, by the way, the original Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Legends and then Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition was a very good game. It was already arguably one of the best, if not the best, Warriors game ever made. And now you have Nintendo directly having their developers touch this game. Guys, guys, it is looking insanely good. You you could fool me into thinking Nintendo made this and not Koei Tecmo. And that's how good this gameplay looks. And that's saying something. And, like, people wondering, you know, we, we got some questions answered, too. Like, you know, why why can Link do some Sheikah Slate abilities? Well, Link actually holds the Sheikah, Sh- Sheikah Slate at one point in, the, in that trailer. So... Man, guys, I'm th- this is my most hyped game for the rest of this year. And that's saying something because we, we got some other announcements. Uh, Last of Us 2 stuff. We got, uh, you know, we, we have the launch of systems, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Miles Morales looks really good. Uh, there's a lot of things to look forward to. Uh, you know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I, I really like that whole Viking Age and it's cool that we're finally getting an Assassin's Creed in that age. So I'm there's like a lot of big games I'm really looking forward to the rest of this year. And I'm sure if I dug down and looked at the entire release slate the rest of this year, I'd find even more. But man, dude, Age of Calamity is at the top. Zelda is my favorite franchise of all time. And to be able to see what happened 100 years before the Great Calamity, uh, or really before the events, of, to see the Great Calamity, you know, the event that happened 100 years before Breath of the Wild, I... I, I couldn't ask for anything out of a Hyrule Warriors game than this. This is, man, dude. And the gameplay, like, we got to see more of Rivali and Mifa in action. Heck, we got to see Baby Saiten again. Oh, Baby Saiten. Oh, my gosh. Urbosa in action. Daruk. I'm like, man, guys, this game, this game. And I got to say, one thing for the opening cutscene of that of that trailer, which you've already seen by now in, the, in this video, dude, a tear came to my eye, man. I know what happens in that moment with Zelda and Link. Like, we already know. But reliving it and now being able to live all the events up to it. Man, dude, this this is going to be a heart-wrenching story. Heart-wrenching because we already know some of the the bad that happens. We know, you know, what happens to the champions. We know what happens to Link. We know these bad things happen. But now we're going to be even more connected because we have the future knowledge of what happens in breath of the wild. And then we also are going to be super connected to all these characters up until these moments happen. Even though we know they're coming, it's not going to lessen the impact. I can already tell because I'm already getting tears to my eyes over things. And I, I'm th- things that I already know are going to happen. Hyrule warriors age of calamity is going to continue to be a top selling game. I feel the rest of this year. I don't think it's going to outsell animal crossing. I don't think it's going to outsell Super Mario 3D All-Stars because those are just Animal Crossing's like in its own stratosphere. And 3D All-Stars has just a lot of hype behind it and Nintendo's restocking it like crazy, trying to keep up with demand. So 3D All-Stars is going to be fine. But dude, Hyrule Warriors, man, this is going to end up selling 4 or 5 million. I, I could just tell. This is going to be like a Super Mario Party level of sales game, if not even higher. Because we don't know what the, the, the tale of sales is going to be. Heck, when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, could we see a boost in sales for Age of Calamity 2? A boost in sales for Breath of the Wild again? I absolutely believe it's possible. So, thank you guys for tuning in. It feels good to get, finally get a video out today. I've been on a bit of a vacay today, but uh, you know how it goes. So, uh, you guys have a good rest of your day.